Welcome into the game of the week on Southfield Cable 15. Tuesday night action between the Lakers of West Bloomfield and the ANT Warriors inside of Southfield High School. You see our keys to the game to get things rolling on the West Bloomfield side, sharing the basketball, knocking down the open shots, getting out in transition on the ANT side of things, shot selection, defensively limiting transition points, and staying committed overall on the defensive end because it is a talented West Bloomfield group hoping to bounce back from a loss the other night, Kipris Blaze Vikas is at the top of the list of their talent. A 6'5 wing, three college offers. Ryan Hurst to just a sophomore, but maturity beyond his years, to say the least. On the ANT side of things, when you talk about the Warriors, you talk about Caleb Banks, their senior center, six foot six, all around talented player. Jalen Banks, another senior, will have to. Lead the way tonight if the Warriors hope to take down the Lakers on the home floor. You're watching Cable 15. We are underway inside of Southfield ANC High School. Pleasure to have you with us on this Tuesday night. Lakers and Warriors. Always a fun clash when these two sides get together. Again, the Lakers coming off a six-point loss to Ferndale last Thursday. They've had a few days to think about that one. ANC hoping to rediscover an offensive rhythm after a 37-point showing against Clarkston in a 42-37 loss last Friday. That was really a defensive battle. Early charge called on Hurst. Mack, the senior, talked about him in our pregame. We need to step up on both ends today and certainly has the capability to do that. Jalen Carpenter getting the start at point guard today. Sometimes on and off can be in their starting lineup slash come off the bench. A turnover to give it right back to West Bloomfield. This is Mitchell C., a player who we'll talk about quite a bit tonight. See the sophomore and one of a couple of underclassmen in the starting lineup for West Bloomfield, in addition to Ryan Hurst, another name we talked about in the pregame. Mitchell C. at the free throw line will break the scoring seal on tonight's matchup. Length, athleticism, speed, all a part of the fabric and the fiber of this West Bloomfield team. Mitchell C really gets them up and down the floor. If you're a and as we noted, you have to limit the transition points. On well, the first possession for West Bloomfield, the first scoring possession, I should say, they weren't able to do that. Banks, when he sees a lane, he'll take it. Six foot six, but has a pretty decent handle. Blaze Vikas, six five, and he can dribble a little bit himself. Fall away J from Blaze Vikas off the mark board, taps out by Oviatsu, and it'll stay with the Lakers. Oviasu on the floor with Richard Weaver. Kipris Blaze Vikas. Mitchell C as well, along with Ryan Hurst on the floor in black and green tonight. Mack draws the tough defensive assignments of C to start the game. Wondered who would be guarding him. Hurst is first three. Off the mark and the Lakers quickly 0 for 2 from deep. Mac, this is where they like to score their points in the paint. However, 0 for 2 to start off the night. That comes Oviasu. Just about everyone in the starting five can put the ball on the floor for West Bloomfield, which is certainly an asset for them in transition. As Blaze Vikas was a bit over anxious there and called for the travel. A&T, Carpenter, Davis, who nearly turned it over there. Mack, Dixon, and Banks, the starting five for the Warriors. Interesting note on their starting five in this one is Davis playing off the ball. He can play the one, but they have him at the two to start this game. 
tries to get the entry feed to Banks. Wet, well, well read by the Lakers on that occasion. Opens up Dixon, though, for three. Came up well short, may have been partially deflected. Banks the board. Denied once by Blaze Vikas, but on a second opportunity, it's off the window and in. Banks, the 6'6 senior center, named the seventh best player in Oakland County entering the season. ANC, by contrast to this West Bloomfield group, loves to stay in their half court sets and run their offense through Banks. On most nights, is their leading scorer. See the West Bloomfield traps out high. They pressure the basketball. And picking up from half court is a tough defense to crack. ANT trying to set up the ball screens. However, still being held outside the perimeter. Finally, the entry to Banks denied, however, by Oviasu. And back on the Lakers in transition. C to Oviasu. Count it and a foul. A beautifully orchestrated transition bucket. Typically turnovers equal points. The story is the same on that occasion. Rashard Weaver, beg your pardon, on the finishing end of that, on that attempt. And he led to the line for one more free throw. Able to get it to drop in all five of the Laker points early on with five minutes to play in this opening quarter. Have come by way of transition points. ANC yet to really discover what they want offensively. Banks calling for it against Blaze Vikas. Another near turnover. Mack just saved it from going across the timeline. Carpenter dives to the rim and finishes for two. Lovely give and go. Speaking of beautifully orchestrated offensive plays, Rashard Weaver's second bucket off a pretty feed. And that's when the West Bloomfield offense is at its best. Mack hoping to answer and couldn't. Board is vacuumed in by Weaver, who is 5'11", but can sky amongst the trees. Up to his backcourt mate Hurst, who finishes once again in transition. And Carpenter a bit dinged up after that transition hoop. May have been hit in the face and tending to his eye as he will head off the floor here. And Zamir Dixon will step onto the floor, one of two Dixon brothers. Xander and Zamir both on the floor right now for a &T. Meanwhile, nine points for the Lakers and what's been a nice early start, both defensively and offensively. This is Zamir Dixon navigating into the paint. Tried to find Banks down low, tipped out of bounds by Oviasu. Speaking of brothers, that's Emmanuel Oviasu, who is a two-sport athlete, plays football and basketball, and has two older brothers who played for West Bloomfield, Chris and Sam. Emmanuel is the third and final brother to come through the program. At the other end, Mitchell C. Gets the sophomore once again on the finishing end there. Xander Dixon's cross-court feed leads to another turnover. Back comes Weaver. Euro step into the paint and two more for the Lakers. It's a 13-4 start for West Bloomfield on the road. Jeremy Denha loving his start today. And Daryl Buchanan wants to talk things over for the Warriors. And we'll give us a moment to remind you that you can now watch Cable 15 anywhere you have internet access, just go to the City of Southfield's website, click on Cable 15 and hit your Cable 15 Live tab. Watch Cable 15 Live on your mobile device, tablet, or computer.
Well, as we know, today NT is hoping to rediscover an offensive rhythm today after scoring just 37 points the last Friday against Clarkston. A very defensive game, so certain elements you would like to carry over, but the start is not ideal. Certainly an inauspicious one for the Warriors giving up several transition buckets, which is the opposite of what you want to do against this West Bloomfield team. Shade over three minutes to play in the opening quarter. And Anthony Davis and Jalen Mack in the backcourt for the Warriors, hoping to settle things down. A travel called, add another turnover onto the list for the Warriors. And this time, Hurst can slow things down. And not the quickest player in the world, Ryan Hurst, but so crafty. Speaking of crafty, on the block that time, Emmanuel Oviasu couldn't finish over the taller Banks. That comes Mack. We mentioned he'll have to get involved today. Finds Dixon, who stems the tide and gives ANC a bucket out of the timeout. Dixon, a player with excellent change of direction, and he saw it on display there. Now ANT giving West Bloomfield a taste of their own medicine as Davis finishes in transition. Five-point game and a couple of quick buckets after the Darrell Buchanan timeout. Here's the give and go once again on display for the Lakers. Rashard Weaver will head to the line. So quick off the ball. Can put him at the one or the two. Either way, he's going to be effective. Perhaps even better at the two spot because he just is such a challenge for defending opponents in man-to-man -man defense, always on the move. I was watching the film prior to today's game, and it's almost a John Wall-esque speed that he has. However, maybe off the ball. And he plays so much bigger than his size, leadership qualities as well. 5'11", but there are moments when he might think he's 6'11", because he is always in the paint and skying for boards. That time connects on two free throws to give West Bloomfield a seven-point advantage. That's what Jalen Mack does, reads the passing lanes and earns his team an extra possession. Davis climbing to the rim, able to finish. Went right at Oviasu. Back to a five-point game after West Bloomfield got off to a 13-4 start. Nearly another turnover. Some life on the a and bench now. Reese Williams in the game for the first time on the West Bloomfield side gets called for the offensive foul. Another upperclassman in the West Bloomfield lineup, which is a relatively experienced one. Reese is senior. Lockdown defender, very strong combo guard. 90 seconds to play in the opening quarter. And West Bloom a and trying to end it on a high note after a rough start that was filled with turnovers. Dixon thought about a three, opted to drive, got past Weaver. And the kick out. Davis potentially one-on-one -on -one with Hurst. Gets by him through up a tough shot. Hurst won that battle. A tie up on the floor. Hurst lost it to Banks, who goes right at Oviasu. Maybe a little too hard and couldn't finish the easy layup. Back comes West Bloomfield. It's Hurst once again. This time he draws a foul. Mack the guilty party. And two more free throws upcoming to the Lakers. Early second foul on Mack, by the way. Something to keep an eye on. A couple of substitutions coming in. Quante Pryor and Ethan Allen, who is the backup center for the Warriors, likely to take the spot of Banks, who's played a tough first quarter. Banks will indeed step off the floor. Pryor comes in. And Mack will leave the game as well with two fouls. It's a good free throw shooting team, West Bloomfield. Number 
A couple of bench players also make their way in on the West Bloomfield side. Jalen Adams, another senior. In addition to Amir Herring. Down low, so a front court swap on both sides. You know, fun front court matchup entering today to start things off between Oviasu and Banks. A couple of very athletic bigs. I should say if you're thinking of athleticism, you're probably thinking of Oviasu Banks as well, but just a bigger frame. You always wonder though, how does this ANT team function offensively without Banks on the floor? They don't have him in, the, him in the game right now. Ethan Allen denied on his first shot attempt of the night. And as usual, West Bloomfield will try to turn it into a transition point, and they do. Aries Williams, the senior, finds his first two points of the night. And this match is the largest lead for West Bloomfield. It's back up to nine. Another turnover. Adams up ahead. Williams, zero step into the body of Dixon and an offensive foul. So quickly, Jalen Carpenter, who got the start today for the Warriors, comes back in. in for West Bloomfield, number 12, Nick Smith. And Nicholas Smith makes his first appearance for West Bloomfield. ANT can essentially play for the last possession of the opening quarter here. It feels like a big one. Down nine. Davis past Carpenter. Lost it. Another turnover to cap off a disruptive defensive first eight minutes of action for West Bloomfield. They're out to a nine-point lead. They've raced out to a nine-point lead, literally and figuratively. Getting up and down the floor in transition. It's been fun to watch. ANT hoping to stem the tide when we come back on Cable 15. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. Welcome back inside of Southfield a and High School. The Lakers off to a 19-10 start. Banks still on the bench for the Warriors to begin the second quarter. Blaze Vikas and Oviasu on the bench for West Bloomfield. So both teams pretty deep into their benches still to start this second frame. Williams, who got off to a nice start in the first quarter. He is a key asset for the Lakers off the bench and finds two more there. Doesn't hurt to have another senior guard coming off your bench. When Blaze Vikas goes and gets a rest, when Hurst goes to gets a rest. Just a calm, steady player. ANC has not looked calm by any stretch today. Another turnover. And Lakers unable to capitalize at the other end. Davis pushing the pace. And he'll have a couple of free throw attempts coming up. First on Amir Herring. Third team foul and getting set to check in here for West Bloomfield is Jaden Montgomery. As they continue to dip into their bench, Jeremy Denna on the West Bloomfield sideline took over in 2011. Prior to that, he spent six years with Berkeley High School as a part of their coaching staff, three of which were as head coach. You see him on the bottom of your screen there. And this year he has really injected a level of energy into his West Bloomfield team. When they are winning, they're typically playing with a burst of speed. 
and turning the opposing team over. You know, we wondered entering today, who can dictate the tempo? These teams have contrasting styles when it comes to strength. So far, West Bloomfield has played right into theirs. A tough drive from Williams. Off the mark, the stick back. Didn't go for Herring. Appears as though this will stay with West Bloomfield. Offensive foul called on Nick Smith. Lead is still nine, largest of the night for West Bloomfield. Oviasu returns. Herring checks out. Meanwhile, Carpenter still in the backcourt with Davis for ANT. Jalen Carpenter has such a good understanding of the offense. Off the bench, or if he's a starter, as we mentioned. Quante Pryor with the basketball right now. Davis defended by Hurst, who's also back in the game. Some more of the starting lineup matches that we saw early on in the first quarter. Ethan Allen, though, still in for Banks as that backup center spot. Able to get his own offensive rebound, which coaches love. A bit over-anxious on the turn, leads to another giveaway. What's felt like endless turnovers and self-inflicted mistakes has really halted this Warrior offense that, as we noted, only scored 37 points in their last game against Ferndale. That was a 42-37 loss. Still yet to rediscover the offensive groove and not giving themselves much of a, much of a chance. Williams opened up for three. Strong. Dixon hauls in the board. You can see here it's a relatively slow paced offense for the Warriors. Step back three from Davis. Got it to go. A big shot from Anthony Davis, who's typically known as a strong finisher around the rim, steps back there and nails a three to make it a two possession game. First, trying to answer, draws a foul, buys a bucket, count it one more. As soon as ANT seems to find a source of momentum, first, as he usually does in a rather methodical fashion, just navigates his way through defenders at 6 2. Draws a foul with such strength combined with his handles and banks it off the glass and in. A good free throw shooter, too. And again, a sophomore starter. Off the front rim, board vacuumed in though by Mitchell C, his fellow sophomore in the starting lineup. Looked like Richard Weavers was going to step and do a three, opted to kick it to Hurst. His triple is long, a second offensive rebound on this possession from C, and he threw it off the defender to keep it with the Lakers. C is just, the, just an omnipresent force for the Lakers all over the place as Blaze Vikas will make his way back in. Again, Blaze Vikas, a player with three college offers, offers. Ohio Northern, Alma College, and Kalamazoo College have also made offers. He was open for a three there. The cross-court feed was attempted for Weaver is picked off by Carpenter. The pirouette in the paint blocked that time by Weaver. Now he'll spring a two on one, maybe three on one. C fouled. Quance Pryor was just trying to stick with three black jerseys defensively and was called for his first foul. Mitchell Say will head to the line. We noted that sophomore duo in the starting lineup for West Bloomfield. Hurst, entering the season as a sophomore, was ranked as the ninth best player in Oakland County. 
noted that Banks, who's back in the game on the A&T side, was named the seventh best player in Oakland County. And C goes one for two at the free throw line. Under five to play in the opening half. The lead is back to its largest at nine. A&T has remained within striking distance despite a litany of self-inflicted mistakes. Almost another one there. The double team out high, be careful. Another turnover. At the other end, the slam from Oviatsu. Turnovers equal transition points nine times out of ten. Against this Laker offense tonight, it feels like ten times out of ten. Nearly another there. Davis looking for a second three of the afternoon. Couldn't find it. Banks cleans it up. Back to a nine-point game. 3.20 to play in the opening half. Mitchell C. trying to help his team pull away. The pull-up is true. Weaver so adept in the mid-range game. Another turnover. C. steps in the passing lane. Two on one. Fed his partner in crime. Oviasu, who scoops it home easily. Oviasu lost it. Shoe in the process. Gets it back on, jogs up the floor. Banks at the other end, beat everyone to it. And found two more points of his own. Blaze Vikas as the tempo picks up, which plays right in the hands of the Lakers. It's been a relatively quiet night for Kipris Blaze Vikas, the 6'5 wing player who is such a versatile player as that forward spot. Kind of a guard slash forward, your modernistic winger in today's game of basketball. Jalen Mack checks in. Remember, he had those two early fouls, which took him out of the game. A player who defensively, when you do turn it over against this Western Field team, which you may, because they're just so good at pressuring you and pressuring the basketball, he's a guy who can get back and guard in transition and maybe intercept some of those outlet passes. As Oviasu is still having wardrobe issues. <laughs> Trying to fix the shoelace, gets it tied up. Second consecutive trip for Oviasu with shoe problems. Hopefully he sorted that out now and a and will try to get their half court set underway. Davis, his second three of the night. Anthony Davis keeping his team in this one. Eight point game. Shade over two to play in the second quarter. Emmanuel Oviasu, as we noted, one of three Oviasu brothers to come through the West Bloomfield program. Over to Ryan Hurst, who was fouled. Reaching foul number two, Anthony Davis. That's his second. The second Don Davis, so it certainly needs to monitor his foul issues. That's been a problem at times this season for Davis. Who's such a key asset, tried to pickpocket Hurst from behind. And it'll lead to bonus free throws for the sophomore guard. Who, as we noted, is a two-sport athlete, plays football and basketball. Return for A&T, 33, Jalen Carpenter. They'll take Davis out with those two fouls. And Carpenter comes back in. Again, you don't lose much with Carpenter. Good understanding of the game. Can take over the one spot. To start the game was Carpenter and Davis in the backcourt. Now it's Carpenter and the seldom used Kyle Sims. Mack also playing with two fouls. Carpenter, corner pocket. The board to see, trying to navigate out of trouble and couldn't. Banks scrambles on the loose ball. Back to see, looking for reinforcement. Found it in the form of Xavier James, who's also off the bench. 
And I believe he was called for a walk. So that'll give the basketball right back to West Bloomfield. Final 70 seconds of this opening half. Lead is at its largest for the Lakers. Double digits at 10. The drive from Weaver, the kick out to Oviasu, extra feed. First doubles as ANT tries to disrupt the Lakers in their half court set. The shot over the smaller C is good from Weaver, who's only 5'11 himself, but we noted he plays so much bigger than his size. Sometimes it feels like he thinks he's 6'11 when actually he's 5'11, always in the paint, always a force, defensively and offensively. The Warriors, if they would like to, could potentially play for the final shot here. Banks, however, likes what he sees, utilizes the glass and finds two more points. Now Ryan Hurst can slow things down a bit. The Lakers, under 20 seconds to play in this Opening half, no shot clock in the state of Michigan. A foul called by Carpenter. Reaching foul number 33, Jalen Carpenter. His first, team's eight. At the line of shooting, one and one. It's the first on Carpenter. Eighth team foul, though, and it'll be a couple of bonus free throws for Ryan Hurst. Hurst, a very motivated player, wonderful work ethic, still very early on in his high school career, but a bright future ahead. Reese Williams checks back in for the final 13 seconds. You think for defensive purposes, he's known as a lockdown defender here. To try to limit any points that could potentially happen. Blaze Vikas had intentions of a putback, couldn't finish. Still six seconds with which to work for ANT. The kick to the corner. Carpenter's three. Off the mark. One more shot for Banks. Didn't go. And it's an 11 point advantage at the half for the Lakers. On the road, hoping to bounce back from their loss last Thursday. Well, the name of the game was transition buckets and turnovers forced by West Bloomfield. The two primary reasons why they're out to a nice start in this one. We'll step aside on Cable 15. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Second half of action from Southfield A&T High School. Just about to get it underway. A&T hoping to claw their way back into an 11 point deficit. Jalen Mack is a player who they would like to get involved in this third quarter because he can certainly lead you into a comeback and breaks the scoring seal to open up the third nine point game. The lead has been as large as 12 for Jeremy Dennis, West Bloomfield Lakers on the road on this Tuesday night. Yet to get Kipris Blazevikis involved. Weaver has certainly gotten involved. Fine C in the corner for three. High hop off the rim. Offensive rebound by Weaver. A second is the charm. Back up 11 after a couple of tip ins. The second one drops for Weaver, who again plays so much bigger than his size would indicate. His speed is such a weapon as well in transition, which is where the, at least it felt like the vast majority of points came from for the Lakers in that opening half. Dixon in the half court set to Banks who will have to play well in the third quarter if ANT wants to claw their way back into striking distance. Down nine, so still single digits. It's a resilient ANT team. This time Banks gets it done defensively up to Davis. His fellow senior converts and it's a seven point deficit. Daryl Buchanan so good in timeouts. The head coach for ANT so good at halftime when it comes to charging up his group, and that's why they're never really out of a game. We've seen that so far this season on our game of the weeks. Pleasure to have you with us on Cable 15 today. 
It's a wonderful defensive start to the third for the Warriors. Another block there. Carpenter transition triple. A little strong, and the ball will go back to the Lakers. And if you're just tuning in, A&T lost last Friday 42-37 at the hands of Clarkson. A&T will play Bradford on Friday to cap off this busy week. The Lakers on the flip side coming off a six-point loss to Ferndale last Thursday. They've again had a few days to think about that one. Got off to a 13-4 start in this one to recap a little bit. A&T, the closest they got since that nine-point deficit was within five. Another travel, they're within seven here. So a chance to potentially pull within five or four with a three. Carpenter at the one spot, as we've seen him. Manning tonight at the controls. On the floor with Davis, Banks, Dixon. Here is Dixon, one of the two Dixons. Xander, his brother, on the bench right now, and Zamir may have thrown it away there. Off the hands of Banks. And this will go back to West Bloomfield. I beg your pardon, off the hands of Mack. The other end, we get a foul called on Dixon, who was trying to keep up with Hurst. As West Bloomfield yet to push the pace through the early stages of this third quarter, maybe trying to engineer some tempo there. We wondered who would dictate the pace entering tonight. It's been the Lakers for the most part. They can work out of the half-court set. They love when they're getting up and down. Blazevic is trying to find his jump shot. Couldn't from 17 feet. Back comes Dixon. An acceleration into the lane, double clutches and draws a foul on Blaise Vikas. We noted at the other end, Blaise Vikas struggling to find his rhythm offensively and then defensively called for the foul there. He's one of three players on this West Bloomfield roster who was named one of the top 50 in Oakland County entering this season. Ryan Hurst, one of the others, along with Rashad Weaver. Second free throw off the mark. Nonetheless, a six-point game now. The poke away from Dixon. Banks, who's on that list of the top 50 players in the state, up ahead to Mac. Couldn't finish. Dixon, a third chance is a no-go. Banks another steal. This one out of bounds, though. Shade under five minutes to play in the third. We get a West Bloomfield timeout as their lead has been cut from 11 to 6. Gives us time to let you know that you can now watch Cable 15 anywhere you have internet access. Just go to the City of Cable 15's website and click on Cable 15 and hit the Cable 15 Live tab. Watch Cable 15 Live on your mobile website, mobile device, tablet, or computer. To start off this third quarter, ANT giving West Bloomfield a bit of a taste of their own medicine. Getting in the passing lanes, disrupting the Laker offense, running out in transition. Caleb Banks, 6'6, 250 pounds, but he has been mobile so far in this third quarter and really all over the place defensively for the most part, making an impact. Again, regarded as one of the best post players in Oakland County, but can also step back, knock down the three, good defender too. Noted his prowess on the basketball floor. It, it's the football field though, where he has garnered the most attention throughout his high school career. 
A three-star recruit, strong side defensive end, committed to play for Louisville next season. Reese Williams back on the court for West Bloomfield, trying to spark some momentum for a Laker team that has been dormant offensively. Through the first four minutes of the third, Williams is three. Couldn't connect the offensive rebound, though, to Oviasu. It's been a fun battle between Oviasu and Banks down low. They're matched up against one another right now. Out high, though, it's Hurst against Dixon. Weaver for three. Got it to go. Richard Weaver, mid-range game at the paint from distance. He can score at all three levels. And that was on display once again there. The lead is back to nine after the Weaver three. Jalen Mack, who scored the first bucket of the third. Leave it off for Carpenter, working around the screen, out high from Banks. Tried to squeeze a pass through that somehow found Dixon, and it led to a tie-up. Possession arrow will head to West Bloomfield. So a dangerous pass that didn't lead to a steal, but Hurst tied things up, and now he'll lead this West Bloomfield offense into the front court, under four minutes to play in the third quarter. Oviasu, just like Banks, not afraid to take a three. The blow by, Weaver, book it for mid-range. Back-to-back buckets for Richard Weaver. We talk about this West Bloomfield offense, really one through five. They can all dribble, they can all shoot, they can all attack the rim. It's a versatile threat and a challenge because rarely can you ever double-team. The other end, West Bloomfield tries to implement a double team of their own. However, they get called for the foul. Mitchell Say, just his first foul. Again, such an asset in that starting lineup. One of two sophomores in addition to Ryan Hurst. In the starting five for the Lakers, who find themselves all of a sudden back up 11. After ANT trimmed it to six, Banks. Or Mack, however, called for a foul. There may have been a three-second violation down low. Called on Banks, though, in the paint. And it'll give the basketball back to the Lakers. Shard Weaver has single-handedly stretched out this lead back to where it once was. He has the basketball right now. Can see his off ball movement, so key. The long three though is good for Hurst. Another player who typically is crafty around the rim but not afraid to trigger from deep. And the lead is at its largest, 14 for the Lakers. a &T in trouble after they clawed within six. It's an 8-0 run for West Bloomfield. Dixon, open three, trying to answer. That ball is out of bounds, and it'll give, the, it'll give it back to West Bloomfield. And I've had a tail of two quarters within a span of six minutes or so. An excellent start to the second half for a and but a quick answer and the largest answer of the night for West Bloomfield has stretched it out to 14. So a big patch of the game here for a &T to try to finish this quarter on a high note. And Daryl Buchanan will opt to implement a press defense to disrupt the Lakers from the get-go. Quante Pryor in the game now. Player who's good on this end of the floor for the Warriors. Looks like Jalen Mack didn't get there in time, sliding over and an offensive, I should say a blocking foul called, which will send Arise Williams to the free throw line. Just the team second here in the third quarter. And Williams, the senior point guard, off the bench who has been such a boost 
for Jeremy Denna today. We'll head to the line. Knocks down the first. It was two for two. Sean Patrick checks in for Williams. It's a deep West Bloomfield team. This is around the stage of the quarter where you typically see Jeremy Denna go into his bench. That's what he's done. Leaves Weaver out on the floor with Oviasu, the two starters. First in the game as well. Tough jumper from Davis, who's yet to score in the third quarter after a solid, impressive second quarter for Jonathan Davis. The dive to the rim from Dixon, unable to finish. Too much of that over the past couple of minutes for a and Meanwhile, the Lakers try to capitalize at the other end. Feeling it from three in this quarter as Hurst couldn't find a second triple. However, does find a steal. And a beautiful spin move in the lane leads to two more for the Lakers. Ryan Hurst showing why he was ranked as the ninth best player in Oakland County entering the season. Defense to offense, name of the game today for the Lakers. Up by 18, Banks. Able to answer, but ANT has dug themselves into a pretty large hole. Ryan Hurst, it can almost look like it's in slow motion at times. However, it's so pretty and aesthetically pleasing to watch. Unable to find the 18 footer there. Back comes Davis. ANT by contrast trying to speed things up, and Mack connects on a long two. You don't want to leave space open at the other end. High arcing floater from Weaver, no. On the follow-up attempt, it is Patrick who will head to the line off the bench. Everyone playing a role today for the Lakers, and it's culminated in a beautifully orchestrated ending to this third quarter. Meanwhile, Williams getting set to check back in. Might be a breather potentially for Weaver. Campbell checks in for the first time on the A&T side. Hurst comes out. Weaver stays in for West Bloomfield. The West Bloomfield team that is Three points away from matching the amount that they scored last Thursday against Ferndale in a 59-53 six-point loss. Davis, well off the mark from three. Banks, right place, right time. Didn't find the finish. Ball is out of bounds into West Bloomfield. As those turnovers begin to creep back into the stat category for a and -T. Ryan Hurst, four seconds on the third quarter clock, and they end it in sparkling fashion. Now just add a little more shine onto what was a brilliant third quarter of play for the Lakers. Weaver, Hurst, Oviasu. Names at the top of the stat category after three for the Lakers, and they're off to a commanding start in the second half of action. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.
Not the best beginning to the third quarter for West Bloomfield, but a Disney movie-like ending to the third. And hoping for a fairy tale finish as well in the fourth. It's an 18-point advantage, matching the largest of the game for the Lakers. Banks able to cut it to 16. A&T will have to go on a run, which is tough with their style of play to score as many points as they'll need to to come back here in this fourth quarter. First things first, you need stops on this end of the floor. Didn't get very many down the final five minutes of the third. Picking up right where he left off is Arise Williams, who, according to the West Bloomfield Twitter page, has the best social media game on the roster. So adepts on the floor and off the floor. Arise Williams, the senior off the bench, who has done a lot for this West Bloomfield program over the past couple of seasons. Emmanuel Oviasu called for just his first foul. You love to see the headband look come back every once in a while. Again, he, he rocks it pretty well. 6'3 senior, who is one of three Oviasu brothers that have come through the West Bloomfield program. Banks at the free throw line, meanwhile. Offense usually starts and stops with Caleb Banks for a and A group now trailing by 17 in this fourth quarter. Second foul on Carpenter. First, took two threes in the third quarter, hit one of them. Just scoring at all three levels today. He can work with his back to the basket as well. Finds Weaver, his partner in crime in the backcourt. Came up shy on a three, the board to Carpenter. An outlet feed to Davis, start and stop, into the lane, looking for contact and found it. Just the first on Richard Weaver. As we've seen a &T slow things down in this game by way of getting to the free throw line when they've been at their best. It's kind of how they've ended runs for a West Bloomfield team that loves to get up and down the floor and speed things up. Might not be the most aesthetically ple pleasing brand of basketball, but it, it stops the clock and it earns you a couple of free points. However, you have to convert at this stage and couldn't do so there. Sloppy backcourt play leads to a turnover. Four on one, Banks on the finishing end as the beneficiary. 15 point game, we've seen crazier things. A little over six to play. First, splits the defense, nifty handle as usual, but blocked from behind by Dixon. First at 6-2, not afraid to go into the 6-6 body of Banks. Patrick carves his way around Carpenter, and he draws a foul of his own. Jeremy Denna, the head coach for West Bloomfield, who I mentioned has been around since 2011 when he took the job after six years with Berkeley. Watching his team as they try to waltz their way to the finish line. Denna, a guy much like Daryl Buchanan on the A&T sideline, who is constantly up and out of his seat, 
Rarely do you ever find him sitting down throughout the course of four quarters of basketball. And his team kind of radiates off that style, don't they? Uh, constantly energetic, up and down. It's a matter of putting the finishing touches on now. Banks has other ideas, but a high hurdle to climb. The deficit is 15 with five and a half to play for the Warriors. First on the second option found Weaver. He's played a lot of minutes tonight. Dribbled it off his foot. Banks against the smaller Oviasu. Couldn't finish. This is where the Lakers are at their best. Two on one and another jam. This time it's Mitchell C on the finishing end. Dixon trying to answer, navigating through trouble and found two points. First doubles, haven't seen a lot of this from ANC. Led to a West Bloomfield timeout. Pleasure to have you with us tonight. Don't forget to follow Cable 15 Sports on Twitter to find out when the next game will be covered, the time the game will air, scores, and highlights. That's hashtag Cable 15 Sports at Cable 15 Sports on Twitter. And since you're already on Twitter, you can go ahead and check out the Cable 15 Sports Instagram page as well to see photos of the game at Cable 15 Sports once again on Instagram. A&T trying to avoid a second consecutive loss on the home floor after again dropping that game to Clarkston last Friday. A fanless A&T High School this year. Odd to see the bleachers up on your screen there, but this game not lacking energy as we venture down the latter stages of this 2021 season. Good to see the boys back on the floor after all of the delays, all of the trials and tribulations. It's unusual, but it's basketball, and we love it on a Tuesday night. Patrick in the backcourt with Richard Weaver at the three spot, Mitchell C. The athletic player, as you saw a few moments ago, adding on to his highlight reel. Has a couple of years left on that highlight reel, just a sophomore. Dixon knows his team needs points and they need it in a hurry. He's been good in this fourth quarter. Zamir Dixon, who has excellent change of direction when you watch him on film. Very intense defensively, eyeballing Ryan Hurst. Weaver opened up from three. The tap out and a reload. This time Weaver goes baseline. Lovely Euro step. Didn't find the finishing touches. However, the basketball will stay with West Bloomfield. As Reese Williams, who has pieced together a masterpiece tonight, will make his way back in. Jalen Mack back in on the A&T side of things. The push off called on Hurst, offensive foul. Likes to use his strength, but we'll see the replay here. A little over aggressive with that guarding left elbow arm. The 
Entry to Banks, the shovel to Davis, back to Banks in a wonderful orchestrated play. That's what Darrell Buchanan likes to see out of his team in the half court set. They spend a lot of time in practice working on motions just like that. Mack is a player who knows the offense. Meanwhile, open corner three. Weaver trying to find his third of the game. Wasn't in the cards on that occasion. Back comes Davis, long strides, and drew a foul. It's been called pretty tight tonight. Davis was able to draw contact there. A strong finisher around the rim. More importantly, though, just has wonderful vision to find his teammates, manages the game well. Carpenter kind of took over the one spot today. But Davis has those duties at the moment. Two for two at the line. All of a sudden, a 10-point game. Make it nine with 239 to go in the fourth. So it's back to single digits. 60-second breather as... Jeremy Denna, whose team just moments ago had a lead that was double this size. It's been cuts in nine. It was once 18. His group trying to find a finish that they'll be proud of. Defensively, though, it's been a bit lax, especially in transition over the past few minutes. Zamir Dixon, who's a player you can credit for that on the ANT side, he's really played with a sense of urgency down this final stretch here. Combine that with Banks, combine that with getting to the free throw line, and all of a sudden, ANT, a group that seemingly never gives up, has found themselves back within nine. 239 to go in the fourth. Again, we've seen much crazier things, but you wonder strategically when you have to start fouling with no shot clock in the state of Michigan at the high school level. You can imagine, maybe not yet, but a slower style of play coming from West Bloomfield, the group that typically likes to speed up the tempo. You can see the backcourt pressure being applied instantly from a and they force turnovers at times today. Can they find another here? Nearly. First, calm, cool, and collected. Founds C, who couldn't finish. Chance to get within seven. Davis blocked from behind by Oviasu. The biggest block of the game, perhaps. Outlet feed. C to the rack. Back to double digits. So defense turning to offense, uh, not a, a turnover technically in the scorebooks, but the block and the capitalization, that is a turnover in the scorebooks. And this will be two more in the scorebooks for West Bloomfield. Out of the timeout, Jeremy Dennis group, four quick points with under two minutes to go, and the lead has ballooned back to 14. Beg your pardon, 13. Banks trying to make it 11 and does. Ninety seconds to go in the fourth. Oviasu out of trouble. Tic tac toe. They go in the paint. Two more. Emmanuel Oviasu, the senior, a big block, and a couple of big buckets as well offensively down the stretch in the fourth on the road when you need your seniors to step up. Ooh, a long three that goes down. Davis found himself looking for a foul after somehow getting that to drop. No contact, 10-point game, under a minute to go. West Bloomfield in search of the dagger. They could just hold theoretically. At this point, you think fouling needs to start happening on the ANT side. Bloomfield content to just dish it around. Yep, you, you need a foul now, and then some luck. There it is. Returning for 
So Dixon checks in. That's just the sixth team foul. So half a minute to go, and this one might be iced. Seventh team foul there. We'll send C to the free throw line. Mitchell C, varsity player as a freshman, varsity as a sophomore. Bright future ahead for this West Bloomfield team. Mitchell C and Ryan Hurst. Richard Weaver hoping to close his career out on a high note in search of one more road victory in this building. A chance the line to ice it. He might have just done that after knocking down the first of the one and one. Such an all around student athlete, 3.1 GPA, interested in going into business into his college years. And he might have just wrapped it up on this Tuesday night. Outlet feed and one more slam for C of the windmill variety style points to close it out for West Bloomfield. An 11 point win at the end of the day. A fun one on a Tuesday night. As always, an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Taking a look at our top performers. 14 points for Ryan Hurst to go along with six assists, three steals, two steals for C with 11 points. You see the defensive category, blocks, steals, Williams, Oviasu, they just forced turnovers and got out in transition, played their style of basketball, and did so to perfection for the vast majority of the night. Rashard Weaver, though, at the end of the day, your player of the game on a Tuesday night game of the week here on Cable 15. 26 points for the guard who can score at all three levels. He can rebound amongst the trees. Never intimidated. And a night to remember for Richard Weaver. Filled it up and got the job done for his Lakers. Who bounced back after the loss to Clarkston last week. Again, an 11-point, 66-55 win for West Bloomfield on the road. Back-to-back -back losses for a and at home. For producer Art Ford, I'm Jason Ross Jr. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.